Hey fam, my name is Franklin and welcome to our gaysis. Today we are playing a werewolf opportunity, obviously. Oh. <laughs> and uh, if you'd like to download this game, you can um, find the links to it in the description and in the comment section. I'm going Louis' route. I don't care how many other people I have to talk to. I have to talk to my friends, uh, Marco and I don't think baby girls in this scene. Yes, yeah, Cindy. I think Cindy is not the friend. But I'm like, I'm going Louis' route. He snatched up my heart already. It's just just how it happened. Now I set I set my fate. <laughs> I start to our boy Marco first. <clears throat> Eddie, my life is over. Dude, are you drunk already? Jesus. No, I'm just, I'm just. You will never believe what happened to me. The tone in his voice is a little worrying. What, is something wrong, man? Okay, different vibe, different vibe. I just came off of Psychic Connections. <laughs> uh, don't laugh. <laughs> laugh at what? Just promise me first that you won't laugh. I've already tried to hold back my laughter. I hear people tell me not to laugh, but like, I want to laugh now because it's going to be funny as hell. All right, all right. God damn, I won't. I mean, if it's funny, I'll probably still laugh. See? Like, and you prefacing it with don't laugh is going to make me laugh. I'm already snickering. Like, <laughs> I'm laughing in my soul right now. But he should expect that by now. I think I'm starting to go bald. I'm trying to hold back my grin. Is that why you still got your cap on? Oh my god, I can't laugh. I promise not to laugh. Don't laugh, don't laugh. <laughs> but he did a. <laughs> Hey, you asshole, I told you not to laugh. Marco, you're joking, right? The mental image of you bald, it's so... <laughs> I didn't even tell you the worst part yet. Worst part? That somehow, that somehow gets worse? My partner for last round, she said I should invest in Rogaine. Bitch. Well. I just ate a sandwich, so my stomach's digesting that. But back to this point. That's, eh, I guess because it was a stranger, it's kind of rude. But I'm like, how did she say it? I feel like that's a way to say it. Not sugarcoating or anything like that, where it's just like, I feel like she could have said it in like, I don't know, a relatable way. But I'm just like, was she just being like a spiteful person? Was she being, was she being mean about it? That's blunt and it's mean. The hair growing stuff. I know where Rogue is. <laughs> is it that obvious? I need to see it, sweetie. <laughs> oh man, poor Marco. He's probably going to be bald before he's 40. Rude Eddie. Maybe she was just messing with you. But she was so serious, like she knew. Was it Gladys? Did Gladys read you, sweetie? Did she, did she whip out those tarot cards? It's like, honey, you gonna need some real game for that scout. I don't, I don't know what I could do for you. Like, <laughs> oh, you can see his hair through his tattoo. That's a nice touch. His arm hair. Um, Maybe she had some kind of ESP. Wait, who said that? Oh, okay, but I don't, but I don't want red women to know I'm going bold. Uh, is this awkward for you, some guy? Night's almost over, everyone. Make the most of the time you got left in round nine, which starts now. Please keep all your personal belongings with you. Thank you. I can't deal with the. I can't deal with being bald, dude. Put me out of my pasture. This is it for me? Hang in there, Marco. We can drink lots to make up for it. I'm gonna look like 
fucking Mr. Clean. Bruh, get a wig. I don't recommend getting any sort of kind of wig. Like, get a good ass wig. <laughs> Invest. Invest. Invest in your hair growth, absolutely. But also invest in a wig if you don't want to deal with that. I don't have to think about that. I have to worry about that. And it could be fun accessorizing, you know. Or just stop being bald. Or wear a cap. You could wear a hat. <laughs> oh man, Mr. Clean. Oh man, poor Marco. But it really is funny, as terrible as it is. It'll have. Ow, ow. I have to buy him another nice drink to make up for his loss. <laughs> my condolences, my friend. <laughs> my condolences, comrade. <laughs> for now, I better find my last partner. Sydney. Or Cindy, my bad. Cindy. Best friend. Sweet, the last person I'm with is Sydney. Ah, Cindy, my bad. God, God only knows where Marco got off to, but at least I'll know where C Cindy is. Cindy. Hey, man. Great night, right? Yeah, it's been surpri surprisingly. <laughs> yeah, it's been surprisingly fun. I think I needed a break like this, honestly. But I spend too much lately. Why? Are you nervous about marrying Julia? You kidding? Oh my god, that's why it's called speed friending, guys. Or I don't know their relationship, maybe it's open, I don't know. Shoot, I don't know what they got set. But she ain't been a girl. Am I invited to the wedding? Like, hello? <laughs> I'm absolutely terrified. Ooh. Really now? Like second thoughts nervous or no, no, not that. Just, you know, antsy. I can't really explain it. I'm getting married, you know? It's a huge step. I have no, I have no idea what to say. I didn't even know she was anything but stoked about it. I didn't even know she was anything but Oh, okay, this is Eddie saying that. Okay. I'm not using voice, I'm just reading. <laughs> Cindy. That's a wrap, folks. Y'all literally just started speaking. Excuse Louis. All the way. You can leave whenever you want or keep things going with whoever you want. Oh, Louis. Thanks for coming, everyone. Louis. <laughs> come on. Well, I... come on, Ed. But, like, yes, we're going to have to. Unhash that, unpack that, and make space for our emotions, yes, <laughs> absolutely. But Louis, though, <laughs> let's go find Marco before he finds himself a new girlfriend. Yeah. Man, I'm white. I forgot how fun shit like that like that is. Yeah, that was actually a blast. Thanks for making me go, guys. <laughs> Told you. Bruh. At least it's something that like he goes to that bar all the time. It's some it's a place that he's comfortable being. Some people they wanna drag you somewhere all the way all the way out somewhere and they your ride home. And once you get there, you they ditch you. And it's just, you put it in a bad situation. I'm like, I'm lifting home. <laughs> and I'm never going again. But I'm like, I feel like they did it right. If you're going to drag somebody, at least drag them somewhere where they are comfortable. Where, like, they know how to human fare, <laughs> at the very least. Like, told you. Do it again with the face. I mean, you have a scarier... Uh, Pixar corporate face than he does. Like, he kind of just give me, like, stoner bro vibes. That's about it. <laughs> uh, I ain't gonna laugh. Ha 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 ha. I feel like I'm just gonna do Undertale laugh whenever I see it. Like, uh. <laughs> Thanks for playing. This is the demo. This is the end. A werewolf opportunity, obviously. Oh. I should have known when I looked at the progress. 
Bro, this could have been a beautiful ass game. But it was canceled. So that was Abu. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this game, we can't necessarily support it. I mean, y'all can play it for yourselves. Y'all can give it a five star rating. All that jazz. It's a beautiful game, beautiful art, beautiful characters. If I could go around, it would have been Louis. It would have been Louis Child. <laughs> Absolutely. If I had to put them like on a tier list. Or just like one, two, three, four. I hear you alarm. Thank you. I forgot to turn the thing off. Anyway, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There are nine characters. I would say in order. Who's Jolene? One of them um baby boy didn't like. One of them Eddie didn't like. Who was Bomb? Bomb was a shy Sundare dude. Uh Cindy is one of my besties. Marco one of my besties. Cornelius. Cornelius think is Gladys's nephew. Dobby. Gladys. Jolene. Louis. Marco and Taru. I think Taru's the one we don't fuck with. Right? So <laughs> she's at the bottom of the list. <laughs> like one or nine, she's nine. Right? Who's at top? Louis at top. He's my favorite. I didn't, have, I didn't even have to look at the names. So I'm gonna say Louis. Since he's getting married, so I'm gonna put her at eight. <laughs> Cause I don't wanna be that messy person. Like I don't wanna be like that B, you know. Um. I think they expect you to play multiple times, but I don't really feel the need to. Um, Gladys. Hmm. I would say Louis. Jolene. Davi. Who was Cornelius? Cornelius is Goddess's nephew. Okay, so Cornelius. Um, I think I would say the other thing about Cornelius is I hope they don't make it too much about college. Like, there's no need to do that. <laughs> don't get stuck on college. We don't, they're, they're not. They're not gonna work on a game anymore. So it's just like, but if they were, like, if you kept making it about college, like, it would just leave a bad taste in my mouth personally, just because of my negative experience with it. Um, Dr. Cornelius, I'll say bomb. That's everybody else already. Where's Marco on this list? I take Marco. I got no problem taking Marco. I would try it. Like, I know people that's like, don't date your friends. I was like, absolutely date your friends. Me, like, if you're my friend, I trust you, so I'm more inclined to date you. But anyway. I don't know. I just know like Louis is number one. Taro is number nine. Out of nine. <laughs> like nine people. Then I guess everybody else is everybody else in between. I wouldn't fuck with Gladys. I couldn't mess with Gladys and Cornelius. I couldn't, cause they family. <laughs> I could. It was one or the other. If I had to choose, when I first met Gladys as the pl as player instead of as Eddie, it was like we was besties. I'm like, go ahead, Queen. When we played the game as Eddie, it was kind of like she didn't want anything to do with me. I was just like, oh, well, dang. I guess I would low ball Cornelius, cause I feel like. It would have been made too much about college. Like the conversations. Like I'm past it, you know. So I feel like he it would be Taru, Gladys, Cornelius. Then like from down up, you know. 
and then Cindy. Jolene, Dobby, no, jo uh, Jolene, Bomb, Davi, Marco, and Louie. Sure, let's go with that. <laughs> Final answer. <laughs> Those are people. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this game, you can still download the demo, and the link to it would be in the description and the comment section. If you like this video, you can leave a like, subscribe to our notifications so you know when I upload a minute that I do. I'm at this game, got cancelled. This was a good one. And it was like, games of color, yes. <laughs> come, come, come on now. And it was a variety of people, like not just men, it was also women in there too. You know, and I was, I'm just happy about that. I'm just like, the variety, the representation, <laughs> the hair. It's alright. I got other games in the vault that I want to play and try. I might play... I don't know. If it's under the same category of modes... This this was just intended to have modes. But I'm glad there's nothing not safe for work in this, at least the first playthrough. If you have to play multiple times to get different stuff, then sure. But like... I'm gonna leave it in modes for a minute. Um... Another game that has modes are games like Minotaur Hotel, uh, maybe Neko Jinshi. I have to look that up. I really have to look into that because, ooh. <laughs> um, uh, what else? What a game. I can't really think of one off of my head. But if I don't really see one that I feel like playing at the time, then I'll probably just pick another one from the Not Safe Work pile as it is a larger pile to get through. And a lot of them are very tasteful, you know, and like I can learn how to censor stuff. What would be the not different work game that I would want to play? I've been meaning to play games like Limits or Pervader. I have it all worked out. Y'all know when I'll, when y'all see it, okay? Bye, y'all. <laughs>